time I see you, everything around you fades into the wind. And my heart is thrown open, feels like slow motion. I never knew the feeling until you. Thank you for being here on this very special day among close friends and family, surrounded by the spectacular beauty of these majestic mountains. We have gathered here to rejoice in one of life's greatest moments and to give recognition to the worth and splendor of love. We see it in the faces of Tyler and Kim, and we experience it in our own hearts as well. Today is a celebration a celebration of this couple's unconditional love and friendship, mutual respect for one another, and of two people who are in it forever. They come together today appreciating and being strengthened by their differences while also merging their most deeply held values. Okay, we all know how indecisive I can be. I'm the type of person who has to understand everything before I can make a choice the type of person who will spend 10 minutes in the grocery store trying to decide if I want vanilla ice cream or vanilla bean ice cream, and then end up getting strawberry because I can't make up my mind. Although I can be indecisive and unsure about a lot of things, the one thing I know with complete certainty is that you are my best friend, my strongest ally, my most avid supporter, and without a doubt, the man I want to spend forever with. My never too late for a bowl of ice cream buddy, my Mario Party rival, my willing to try anything as long as it's not a vegetable man, and the love of my life. Tyler, I admire you, I look up to you, and I believe in you. The past three years have been a testament to who you are and the husband you will be. You love me in a way that is pure and kind, passionate and true. With you I know I will always live a life full of love and laughter and hope. You are the love of my life, and I am eternally grateful to know you. Today I promise to love you without reservation or condition, to show you the patience and kindness and grace that love demands, to listen to understand, not to respond, to show up for you, always, to laugh at your jokes no matter how many times we pass the graveyard and you look at me and say, hey, you know people are dying to get in there. <laughs> and to spend every day for the rest of our lives making you feel loved, valued, and appreciated. I chose you three years ago. I choose you today, and I will continue choosing you forever. I love you so much, and I am honored to be becoming your wife. Kim, I knew from the moment I met you that you were the one. Even after going on our first date to the bowling alley and you beating me didn't change that. Today I stand before you with a happy heart and joyful cheers. With this vow and affirmation of faith in front of everybody here today, these words I say to you are as true as can be. I pledge to listen to your advice and consider your feelings. I vow to never take score even when I'm winning. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, I'll be there for you. 
because you're always there for me. Through all the twists and turns, highs and lows, I vow to never leave your side. Most importantly, I leave you with this, without a doubt in my mind, in my heart and soul, with all that I am, I know you're my soulmate who God intended that I spend forever with. I'm forever yours, faithfully. Now, by the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina, and inasmuch as you, Tyler, and you, Kim, have announced the truths that are written in your hearts, we observe joyfully that you have declared yourselves to be husband and wife. Tyler, you may now kiss the bride. To present to you for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler and Ken Anderson. When you went down to Texas, you made this connection with God in yourself that's irreplaceable and it's amazing to see. And I love that God waited to bring Tyler into your life until you had the space you needed to heal, grow, and connect with God. I can see that Tyler helps you grow and challenges you in a good way. I can see that you do the same for him and I love watching him do the little things for you that you deserve. Tyler, <laughs> we've been through some of the best times and some of the worst times side by side, and our families formed as one as we grew up. Your family and mine will be posting angels over each other for the rest of our lives. Even though I'm able to sweep you away from Kim every now and again, I don't believe there's anything on God's green earth that could come between y'all. This was destiny, such a golden-hearted man, give through us such a calm understanding and sweet soul. I pray for a lifetime of happiness and an endless amount of love. I can't wait for the memories to come with Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Also, Kim, just know you have them for the rest of your lives, but I had them first. I love you both, and congratulations to y'all. For those of you that know Kim, she's been a long fan of Winnie the Pooh. When Kim was born, there is a Winnie the Pooh quote that comes to mind that says, the day I met you, I knew an adventure would begin. And Kim, we've had a heck of an adventure, whether it's the family vacations, whether it's chasing bears up the side of a mountain, right?
you're gonna walk up and get a little bit closer to Tyler. And then you're gonna pause and then when I tell you, you're gonna tap him on the shoulder, okay? Pause. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and tap him on the shoulder. Turn? Yep, oh, sorry, you can turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you were expecting. <laughs> Yikes. That was kind of a shock. It looks good on you. I, I like the little, you know, little chest fro. I mean, it feels like my day now. You know what I mean? Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. I think we can make Our it work. Day. We can make it work.